everyone welcome back to puppet week on yes let's in today's video we're going to be exploring shadow puppetry shadows are everywhere be known as shadow play, uses cut out figures and objects which are held between a light source and a translucent screen. Translucent means it's semi-transparent so you can see the light passing through the screen and once you put an object in between you'll get the shadow. You can also make shadow puppetry with your hands and body. Shadows are everywhere, we all have them and they're all different, depending on what's creating them. Next time you're out on a sunny day, why not spend some time spotting shadows? I'm sure you've all heard of that famous boy who lost his shadow. You might have even seen this amazing shadow puppetry on Britain's Got Talent. Shadow play is thought to have started in ancient China and India a very, very long time ago. So while shadow play is an Asian invention, Lots of other hand puppetry started in Europe. By the 17th century, shadow play and puppetry became really popular in Europe, in places like Italy, France and Britain. And it's still really popular nowadays. I'm going to show you two simple ways that you can start exploring shadow play and puppetry from your own home. The first way is by simply using your hand and a light source. It really is that simple. Then you can start creating objects and animals on your walls. see how many objects and different shapes and animals you can create just by using your hands. And now I'm going to show you the second way you can create shadow puppetry at home and that's by making your very own shadow puppet theatre. It's really simple. The materials you're going to need for this is a large cardboard box and as you can see I've drawn in marker pen a theatre on mine. You'll need some extra cardboard, you'll need some scissors and some tape. I'm using masking tape but sellotape works fine as well. And you'll need a light coloured piece of tissue paper and some sticks. I'm using lolly sticks but if you haven't got any, any stick will be fine. Once you've made your theatre and you're ready to start using it, you'll also need a light source. So first thing we need to do is cut out the lines of our box and cut out the back of the box and the bits that we don't need. So you'll need your scissors 
and if you need some help always remember to ask an adult just like that so the corners stay nice and firm. And when you're finished, the box will look a little something like this. You'll be able to see all the way through it. So the next thing you need to do is attach your tissue paper which goes flat against the front where you've drawn your curtain. So you need to stick it from the inside. If your tissue paper's too big, just cut off the excess because you need to tape it nice and tight to the inside of your box. So once that's taped, your box will look like this. And you can already see from the light behind me, you're starting to pick up the shadows. As I say, it works best with a light coloured tissue paper. I've used light blue, but if you've got white, that would be perfect. So that is your shadow theatre made. What you need to do now is make some puppets to go inside it. So what you need to do now with the leftover cardboard that you've made is create some shapes to use in your theatre. That will end up looking something like this. This one's a simple cat cut out of cardboard. You don't need any details on it. You just need the outline because that's all you'll see in the theatre. And then I've just attached it with some tape to two lolly sticks. So draw any shape that you like onto a piece of cardboard. It could be an animal. It could be a person. Um, it could be a landscape like a tree or a mountain and as I say they can be really simple because all you see is the outline so you don't need any detail on so this one's going to be a rabbit once you've drawn it onto your cardboard you need to carefully cut it out So once you've cut it out, get two lolly sticks or whatever sticks you're using. You need to make them quite long, that's why I'm sticking two together. And then you just need a little bit of tape on the back of your cardboard figure to hold the stick in place. So now we have a rabbit and a cat. figures really simple but you could create whatever you like you could create a whole set of characters from your favorite story or film so you could act those out in your shadow puppet theater it's up to you and now for the fun part 
So you need to set up a light source behind your theatre box. Either a lamp or another light source will be absolutely fine. Turn off the rest of the lights in the room to get the best effect. If you put your box on the edge of a table, what you can do is just put your puppets up through the front in the gap between the tissue paper and the table. And you'll see you get a really nice shadow. You can experiment with moving it closer to the light source and further away from the light source to see how it changes the shape of your shadow object. And then you can create your own shadow puppet theatre story. Or if you've created characters out of cardboard from a story already, you can act it out. So there you have it, choose simple ways to create shadow puppetry in your own homes. Have fun!